so this next video will look at the personal statement and uh, we shall be using Jimmy Caragos CV once again and I'll just go ahead into explaining what a personal statement is so a personal statement is a short statement at the top of your CV uh, so this one right here that explains who you are uh, what skills you possess and what type of environment organization you're looking to work at so you notice that uh, Jimmy's CV here has three personal statements. It's got one for sales, it's got one for administration, it's got one for marketing. Yeah. So we do this to make sure that your CV is ready uh, to take on or to be sent to multiple organizations. So we would also want you, when you send your CV in to us, to have it ready with three personal statements. The first personal statement could be one of your choice, any field that you feel is of interest to you, and uh, you saw Jimmy here chose sales. Yeah, but it could as well be engineering or counseling or anything of the sort. The second personal statement is one that is chosen from our list that we gave you during assessment. Just a reminder for anyone who forgot, that list is marketing, sales, administration, graphic design, and customer service. So Jimmy here chose administration. And the third option or the third personal statement is one that is made for marketing. So this one again, you could choose one, or rather we expect you to choose one from our list. So that is again, marketing, sales, administration, customer service, or graphic design. So a recap, we expect you to have three personal statements when you send in your CV. So the first one could be any field of your choice that you feel you would like to work in. And the other two are areas that were on our list that you were told in assessment. And the list once again is marketing, sales, administration, or graphic design. And customer care so once you sort of know that you you expected to deliver three personal statements we can get into what the content should be in a personal statement right so i mentioned it's a statement that explains who you are what skills you possess and where you'd like to work in so let's look at what is written in jimmy's cv here so as regards who he is he says that he is a flexible, dynamic, and self-motivated graduate in International Business Administration who is passionate about sales, interacting with people. So that's who Jimmy is. Yeah. As for what skills he possesses, he says that he possesses good communication, negotiation, and presentation skills, which your father developed while working for Carl and Shine, where he is able to meet and surpass his daily targets. So this is him saying what skills he possesses and he's particularly highlighted good communication, negotiation and presentation skills and he's explained how they helped him to achieve uh, good results at Cal and Shine. Yeah, so that's what and who. And lastly you have where. Now this section in the personal statement seeks to explain uh, what type of environment you'd like to work in and how you'd like to contribute to the growth of that environment. So you can see for Jimmy, he says, seeking to join a friendly environment as a sales representative, where he can contribute towards the generation of increased sales revenues. So usually people have this part where they say what type of environment they want to work in, but they don't have this part where they, where they say what they would like to contribute towards. Yeah. So it's very nice when you have not just the environment you want to work in, but you know how exactly you're going to contribute to that environment as this makes the employer want to hire you more than the average person okay so that's an example of how to write a personal statement and we've looked especially at a sales personal statement as you can see it's tailored specifically to suit a sales job so yeah that's it that's it for sales we can look at another example to drive down the point of writing a good personal statement so we look at admin so you can see for admin, I haven't written the red marks as the first one, but you can still get the picture. So this part here deals with who Jimmy is again. And it says, a highly organized, detail-oriented graduate, international business administration, with the ability to remain calm and collected during stressful situations. Yeah. So this again explains who he is. Yeah. He's a graduate in IBA, and he has the ability to remain calm and collected during stressful situations. But then again, we need to explain what, what skills he has. And he says, he possesses good communication, organizational, and technology skills, 
which her father developed during his time as a leader of the business club, where he created an organized membership database consisting of 20 members. So this explains what skills Jimmy has and what his value would be to the company. So he's got good communication and organizational and technological technology skills. I think that should be technological, but yes, technology skills. Yeah, so he explains uh, the skills he has and how they can be of benefit to the company. Yeah, because he says he was able to organize a membership database. So possibly a company looking for an administration person would want to hire him. And lastly, he concludes by saying that he is seeking an entry-level position in a growing administrative position in a growing organization where he can contribute towards the attainment of higher standards of efficiency. So this is the where that we saw in the sales personal statement and we see it again here yeah where he explains the environment he's looking for yeah it's an entry level administrative position in a growing organization where he can contribute towards the attainment of higher standards of efficiency so i'll give you a home task you can check out this one for marketing and see if you can identify the who the what and the where and uh, Try and use these tips that I've talked about to write your own personal statements, authentic. So three of them, one for any area of your choice, and the other two from the list we gave you, which I'll repeat once again, is marketing, customer service, graphic design, sales, and administration. So good luck with that. And that concludes the bit about writing a personal statement. And remember, you need to write three personal statements before you join us uh for the program especially on day three where we'll be looking specifically at your cv